Breast reconstruction on or after a lumpectomy or a double mastectomy is about to radically change. It sure is. An Austin company modified a common inkjet printer you could buy right now at the store and turned it into a 3D printer. But this printer is using human cells. You could actually call it living ink, and it's printing out breast tissue. How it works in tonight's cover story. When I had the surgery, I just remember sitting in my bed with my cap on at that moment going, I don't want to do this. This is a picture of Valerie. 20 minutes before she went into surgery for a double mastectomy. She says, this is her, I don't want to do this face. I was trying to smile for my dad. He was taking the picture, but I couldn't. I was just, I wanted to hop off that bed and run. When she woke up from surgery, Valerie says it was like part of her identity. Her sexuality was cut out of her and she didn't know if she'd get it back. I remember waking up and them taking off the bandages and seeing what it looked like. And I cried for weeks because they were gone. Valerie documented every emotional step of her breast reconstruction. It took months, but a woman's journey to become whole again is about to radically change. This is a 3D printer that makes breast tissue. We did start with a simple inkjet printer. But Laura Bosworth is the CEO and co-founder of Tevito Biodevices in Austin that is developing the technology. Our first product would be for rebuilding the nipple. The lab is at the University of Texas El Paso. Laura says they started out with a modified HP DeskJet printer and instead of filling the cartridges with ink, they injected them with biomaterial and printed out skin. We have a combination of living cells and ingredients that um, we use inside these and layer by layer we build up, you know, either the nipple or the lumpectomy void to match what it is that, that, you, um, that you need, that you're missing. We would be able to use a woman's own cells and match whatever she has existing um, and create something um, that would be more permanent. It's pretty exciting. Plastic surgeon Dr. Ned Snyder says it has the promise to be a game changer for breast reconstruction. They're going to print a nipple and areola that it basically goes on as a single phase. But secondly, the outcomes I think are going to be significantly improved. It's going to be much more lifelike. They're going to be able to mimic pigments from the other, uh, from the other nipple and it's going to be real skin as the technology improves essentially of what they're doing. They'll be doing 3D printing of, of, uh, of entire breast at some point. I love this. What is this? And that's Valerie's hope when it comes to replacing her implants in about 10 years. That was the first time I'd ever done a 5K run. And now, after beating breast cancer, Valerie says this is her I made it face. I was so happy after finishing it. it I just felt so good. Tevito Biodevices says it expects to do clinical trials with the 3D printed breast tissue over the next two years. They say it worked well in mice. CEO Laura Bosworth says this technology may be in the hands of plastic surgeons in the next three to five years.